Hey everyone, Christopher Rocchio here of Sun Eater, back with a special update video for you because I am back from my book tour down in Texas. We had a bunch of great events. We were in the Dallas area and Houston and uh, and in Austin as well. Things were just wonderful. Uh, I got to meet a bunch of you, uh, which is always a lovely experience. And I think the real takeaway for me is that I probably should be doing this more. Uh, the two signings in the Dallas area, South Lake, Arlington, uh, I was with Ryan Cahill, who actually invited me out uh, for the signing in the first place. This is all his idea. Uh, he had the signing in Arlington with Pantigo Books already set up. That was great. We were in a little theater. It was really cool. Felt very, uh, felt very uh, big time, let's say. Um, and, uh, and so we set up the South Lake event as sort of the overflow event, but that was the first event as it happened. Uh, big thanks to Patrick and the team at Barnes & Noble. Big thanks to Morgan and Thea and everybody uh, at Pantigo Books. Those events were both awesome. We had something like 100 people, I think, at, uh, at both of them. And uh, Mike of Mike's Book Review uh, sort of moderated Ryan and me, which is something I think both Ryan and I uh, kind of needed. So that uh, that was uh, that was really, really fun. It was a great couple of nights uh, with everybody. Uh, awesome to be sort of back on the road. Uh, from there, I went down to Houston. Uh, Ryan went uh, on Ireland. And uh, in Houston, I gave a talk at Houston Christian University. And then I did a signing at the Woodlands. That was awesome, too. Uh, big thank you to Jessica and her team at Barnes & Noble. Um, and um, we had another wonderful event. Mike was there and he and I sort of talked to we took questions from the audience everything was great uh, I think it was something like 60 people that was a, that was really fun it was really fun and then I went on to uh, to Austin uh, but not before I did an interview with Mike at his house which is already on his channel I've uh, posted it in the community post if you haven't seen it uh, really really cool uh, and uh, then in Austin I, uh, I met Jared Henderson and I did an interview with him and uh, went on to Armadillo Con with my friend David Afsharirad, who is uh, one of the editors over at Bang Books. Uh, and uh, David and I uh, sort of hung out all weekend. I did a signing at a Half Price Books in Austin. And man, I was really surprised by this one. I thought it'd be kind of a low-key event. But we had a uh, line, basically, for an uh, hour and a half, just people coming in um, and out, um, getting their books signed. And it was really, really cool to get to spend time with sort of everybody one-on-one because -on -one, it was just one of those signings where the author sat by the door looking kind of sheepish, uh, hoping somebody shows up, except you did. Uh, and it was really, really awesome. I want to say there's maybe 50 people. We got to talk to all sorts of folks from uh, from all over. Really, really cool. Uh, Josh from Red Career Books showed up, which was awesome. Um, and uh, a couple people uh, um, from... Uh, from TikTok as well. Um, Elizabeth, uh, thank you. Uh, it was really lovely to get to talk to you for uh, for so long, uh, last in line and all. Um, that was really awesome. Uh, and then I, uh, I headed on home. Uh, and like I said at the top, I really think the lesson here is that I probably should be doing this more. The last time I went on tour was in 2019, and uh, it was pretty uh, common on that tour for me to go to a bookstore and have basically nobody there. Uh, not so this time, and so message received. Uh, I uh, probably should be out there a little bit more. I can't do it too much, of course. Uh, you know, I'm funding travel myself for starters, but I also can't uh, travel more than I'm writing. And it is, man, it is hard to get any writing done when you're on the road. I'll tell you that. Although I did get some done, I managed to unstick myself in book seven. I was uh, stuck writing this stupid chapter for ages, and it is finally, finally done. I'm finally moving forward again, and uh, thank heavens for that. Now, there are a couple other things that happened uh, while I was away. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on this month, like I said, at the top. Um, the first is that while I was gone, the Broken Binding editions of Empire of Silence, Howling Dark, Demon and White all went on sale, and they sold out uh, surprisingly fast. Uh, I thought 3,000 sets would really be enough, and uh, they vaporized. So a big thank you uh, from me, uh, from, from Jenna, from my family, to yours, uh, for to everybody who, uh, who who picked up a set of those books. Uh, I think there was something like only 50 of them left for general sale on Monday, uh, which was crazy. Uh, I think they said they went in like 20 seconds uh, once they went up uh, uh, for a sort of public option. Uh, and so a uh, big thank you again to everybody who purchased a copy of those books from Broken Binding. Um, I know we had something like twice, almost three times that number on the interest form, so if you did not get a copy, I have some good news. Um, they will be doing a reprint. Um, the plan is to do another at least a couple thousand is my understanding. We don't have a hard number just yet. Um, those will be available in the first half of next year at some point. Um, this is all very early. Uh, we were sort of surprised. Even Broken Binding was surprised how quickly these went, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, again, thank you. Um, but uh, they will be printing more. Um, and so uh, do keep your eyes uh, open uh, for that to be happening. There is an interest form for the second printing 
in the description down below if you want to sign up to get yourself a set of the Broken Binding editions. They will be reprinting in the relatively near future. If you did manage to get a set here on the first printing, however, uh, my understanding is that those will be leaving the Fulfillment Center sometime next month. I have signed them all already. They are ready to go. Uh, and so once again, just a big thank you to uh, each and every one of you who, uh, who managed to grab a set. Uh, wow. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, but that, of course, is not the only game in Special Edition land. The Diamond Editions are like this close, this close to being finished. Um, I got an email, last. I've been getting emails the last couple of days uh, from the uh, bindery. The books are all done. Um, they are... Um, I think spraying the last uh, the last edges, and those will be getting in the mail to me. They say by the end of the week, if they miss that benchmark, they'll be in the mail next week. But it sounds like I will almost certainly have them all uh, of the books at least next week. The slip cases, the tray cases, those are still in production. They'll follow a little bit later. But anybody who ordered the book without the slip case, um, they will uh, they will be on their way very 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 soon. As soon as they're here, I'm going to start mailing them out. Um, it is taking far 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 too long, and I'm um, very happy to be finally getting those out into the world. Uh, I know some people are, uh, you know, uh, understandably, uh, very anxious about getting their copies. Uh, this has taken way too long, um, way too long. And uh, I'm glad that we'll be getting it all sorted out now. Now, a couple of points with regard to the Diamond Edition. The first, of course, is can you still buy one if you missed out on the Kickstarter? And unfortunately, the answer is no. We had a strict 1,000 copy limit imposed upon us by the license we got from the publisher. Um, and while that may change in the future, uh, for now, it is 1,000 books. That is what we got. That is what we can sell. And we did sell 1,000 books. Now, we did have a few cancellations, a couple dozen out of that 1,000. Um, and we will be selling those to people on our wait list after uh, we finish out the main mailing and fulfill the general campaign. Um, but the wait list is unfortunately closed. We have something like four or five times uh, the number of names on the wait list that we have for those copies. Um, and so there's really not much we can do about that at the moment. Um, there's just no point in signing up more names on that wait list because we will definitely sell uh, the books that we have to sell. Now, the next question is with regard to slipcases. Uh, we previewed the slipcase art on uh, the Kickstarter update uh, yesterday, uh, and uh, that uh, seems to have gone down a storm. I'm very glad everybody likes it. Um, and so people have been asking if they can add a slipcase. Um, it is unfortunately too late to add a slipcase. Um, that order has been made. Uh, it has been paid for. Um, there will be some extra slipcases. We have to print more in case there's damage in the mail, but we don't know how many extras there will be as a consequence. And so if you would like to add your name to the slipcase waitlist, um, you can email us at webmaster at solidempire.com, and uh, we can add you to that. Just say, hey, this is my name. This is my backer number. I'd like to be on the slipcase waitlist, and we can take care of you. Uh, but um, but I don't know how many of those we will have. So if you missed out on the slipcase, um, go ahead and get on the list. But um, I can't make you any promises because we might have 30 and we might have two, depending on whether or not they survive the mail. Um, so, you know, we'll just see what happens. The last question with regard to the Diamond Edition is, of course, about Howling Dark. Uh, Howling Dark is... Um, pretty far along in development. We've got a bunch of the art done. Uh, most of the text revisions are finished. I'm about two thirds of the way through the book. I have not made a lot of progress on it in the last couple of weeks as I've been working on one thing and another, uh, but it is close to being ready to go. And a lot of that stuff doesn't need to be done to start pre-orders. Um, but as soon as Empire of Silence is done, as soon as the campaign is fulfilled and everybody has their books, it will be going up for pre-order on Steve Diamond's website. It will not be through Kickstarter, but if you were a backer, we will contact you. Fear not, and you will have something like a month um, to claim your copy before we put it up for general sale. Um, so if you have the first book, you do have your spot held for book two. Fear not, and that will continue through the whole series. Um, you will be covered as long as you keep picking up the books, uh, and you'll have plenty of time in order to do it. We will make sure you know about it. Um, but it will be done through Steve's website, and that will start sometime after the campaign for Empire Science has been completely fulfilled, um, which it looks like Basically, all the books will be in the mail by the end of the month, assuming um, no further weirdness in the bindery. We're very close. The books should be here uh, next week, um, and the cases will follow shortly thereafter. We're very, very close. The nightmare is almost over, I promise. The last thing that I want to mention is with regard to the trading cards over on the Patreon. Now, I did a video about this already, if you saw it, um, but we are doing Sun Eater 
uh, traded cards. Um, you can see them here. We've got a Hadrian and a Valka. The art is by James Cook in both cases. Um, there is a third character as well. We are not showing. You're going to get surprised when you open your booster pack because we are putting them uh, in booster packs. You will have seen that on uh, on the video about the cards that we just, just, just put out. Um, but just as a quick recap for people who may have missed this video, um, we're doing these trading cards. Um, and you can get them through the Sun Eater Patreon. There is more info in the video that we just did about that, and uh, you can find a link to the Patreon down below if you want to get in on that. The first mailing of those cards will go out on Wednesday. That's Wednesday, September the 18th. If you sign up before, then you will get the cards. If not, you have to wait for the next mailing. Um, they are getting mailed out every three months when we design new cards. You will have your chance, your shot, uh, at a random selection of the available Sun Eater cards because they are randomized. It is possible to get a duplicate. Uh, right now, there are three cards done. By the time the next batch comes out, they will have at least doubled, um, and so your chances of getting a repeat will diminish, but they are, of course, never zero. Um, it is sort of a trading card game. If you want to get all the cards, you may have to trade with other readers, uh, and so that's very exciting. Uh, very, very excited about these. They turned out really, really nice. Very happy with them, and I can't wait for you to see them all very, very soon. Like I said, those will be going out on the 18th, so if you want to get your copies of the trading cards here uh, soon, sign up for the Patreon before then, uh, and you can get in on the first mailing. Uh, there are three tiers. You can get one card, two card, three cards, uh, and you, of course, get to vote and help determine the future of the whole Sun Eater trading card. You get to pick uh, which character gets made into a card next, um, and um, I should mention, too, that you'll see on the back there are QR codes. I'm covering this one up. Um, and those go to uh, exclusive lore pages that are tied to the cards um, that have sort of little flash fiction articles about the characters in question um, written about them. So that's very, very cool. Um, and I hope you all will check those out uh, very, very soon. A uh, couple other things, actually, I almost forgot. I will be on Talking Story with John Minton uh, next week. Um, and in uh, at the end of the month, on September the 28th at 1 p.m., I will be in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at the Book House in Rinalda Village uh, for a reading, a signing, a Q&A, and I really hope if you are uh, in the area that you will come on out and see me. A link to that is in the description. They're doing sort of uh, RSVPs through Posh if you want to RSVP to the event. That would be great so we know how many people are coming. I would love to see you all there. And that actually about does it for the video. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, farewell.